Hello guys, this is Tim from Ahrefs and today I'm going to tell you why you need to keep track of your new and lost backlinks. You're watching episode number 16 of the oversimplified SEO. So why it is so important to track new and lost backlinks to your site. Uh, I can give you four different reasons. So the first one, to see which of your marketing efforts are bringing you results. Uh, because if you've been publishing a lot of content lately, creating infographics or maybe some other linkable assets, uh, you want to know if they are actually bringing you, you new backlinks. Because if they don't, uh, all that hard work doesn't actually make any sense. Uh, the second reason, to see if people are naturally linking to you and build relationships with them. Uh, because if you find someone who is already linking to your site, you might want to check his profile and see if you want to connect with this person and I guess do something together, which may result in more links and sales and win-win uh, for both of you. So the third reason, uh, you might want to keep an eye on the person who is building links for you. So you may have hired a, an SEO agency or some freelancer, uh, or maybe you have an in-house SEO uh, who is building links for you, and you want to see if this person or the agency is doing a great job with building new backlinks to your site. And the last reason, the fourth one, it's of course negative SEO. Uh, it doesn't happen really often, but you need to keep an eye on your backlinks and see uh, if they are coming from bad neighborhoods so that you can immediately disavow them and not wait for Google to uh, send you a manual penalty and cut all traffic to your site. Okay, and now let's see how do you track uh, your new and lost backlinks. Okay, before I start this tutorial, I wanted to remind you real quick about the importance of timing in online marketing. In fact, here's a link to the previous episode of Oversimplified SEO, where I showed you a great case study that illustrated the importance of acting immediately whenever you see an opportunity for your business. Uh, but that episode was devoted to tracking uh, keyword mentions across the web, while this episode uh, is going to be about new and lost backlinks. So let's start. I'm going to use HF Site Explorer to see if there was anyone linking to uh, our own website hrefs.com or if any of our links were lost. So we just type our domain name here hrefs.com and click search. So first of all I would like to see if there were any new websites linking to hrefs.com that have never linked to us before. To do that I need to open new referring domains report uh, that can be found within inbound links menu right under the referring domains link. And the first thing that you see once you open this new links report is the date picker. So for example I can pick the dates from 25th of October and pretty much till the end of October and click on show new referring domains button. Let's see if we have something interesting here. As you can see the list of domains is sorted by uh, domain rating column, which means that the most powerful domains are at the top. By quickly skimming through this list, uh, I see one website that's, that looks interesting to me. It's called seositecheckup.com. Let's click the expand backlinks button and see where this link is coming from. Actually, I have it opened in my Chrome tabs already, and it's basically a blog article where the blogger mentions hrefs tools uh, rather fleetingly, I would say. And since by looking at uh, domain rating in Ahrefs tools I can tell that this is a pretty powerful website, it would actually make sense for me to reach out to the author of this article and persuade him to update this article with a little more in-depth mention of Ahrefs tools. So this was just a single uh, example of what you can do knowing who was linking to you recently. As you can see here within inbound links menu, you can track your new and lost backlinks as well as new and lost referring domains. And today I only showed you the report for 
new referring domains because it's actually my most favorite one. I encourage you to go and play with other three reports on your own and see what kind of valuable information you can get from them. However, going to HREF's website every day to check all four reports uh, is not very convenient, isn't it? Well, this is why we have an option to send you this report uh, via email. What you need to do is simply add your website to HREF's dashboard and then you will go to email notifications tab and you will see uh, a setting for new and lost backlinks uh, email notification. As you can see, my preference is set for a weekly report, which means that every week uh, HREFs will create a report with all new and lost backlinks and send it to me by email. And this is how this email will look. Uh, this is a new lost backlinks report for my personal blog bloggerjet.com and as you can see there were uh, five, referring, five new referring domains and 19 new backlinks. And as you can see I don't have to log in to Ahrefs tools every time to be able to track if anyone is linking to my website. So I highly recommend you to add your website to Ahrefs dashboard and start tracking your new and lost backlinks. I'm sure you're going to discover lots of marketing opportunities this way. That's it. I hope you enjoyed today's episode of Oversimplified SEO. Uh, and now I want you to subscribe uh, to our YouTube channel for more videos like this one. Okay, click the button. Click it. Cool. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.